Hi, <laughs> welcome to my very first vlog. I am gonna take you along with me on the journey to go see Zach Bryan this weekend. Right now it's 7.30 a.m. on Friday, August 4th. I'm about to go to the gym and go for a run and get ready for work because I actually have to work today. I get on the road to Iowa, which is about six hours from me. So yeah, I'm gonna call this uh, <laughs> Delia's Buckwild Adventure because it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be exciting. I'm going all by myself because I'm a crazy person like that. And yeah, let's get it. Two miles later, I am going home. <laughs> my unmade bed. I usually make my bed every day, I swear. Um, however, today, leaving. I don't like the way this is set up, actually. I kind of want it to be like fisheye. I mean, that works. <laughs> hey. so I'm, getting, I'm going to work now, well, in like an hour. I'm a bartender at a country club. You are so cute. Stop. I just opened this and she. <sighs> I love you. So, you know, we're just packing a bag for this festival. This is the top I got. I'm so excited to wear it. It's so cute. With some shorts. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to Iowa from Indiana. So that's a good six hours. And then the concert, the gates open at 11 in the morning. So I'm gonna get there hella fucking early. I should probably not swear. I'm gonna get there <laughs> really early and wait all day because I'm obsessed with Zach Bryan like every other person on the planet these days. I swear to God, that man, ugh. Anyway. New boot goofing, and I, yeah, I did just buy country cowboy girl, cowgirl boots. So cute. The thing about me is I have extremely big calves. I don't know about extremely. I have above average calf muscle strength with girth. Well, I am officially clocked out for the weekend. I had a great day. I saw all my favorite members. Um, I saw my work crush and uh, he asked me what kind of snacks we had in the back. I told him that he was looking at it. <laughs> so I made some money and uh, everyone gave me a hug. They were like, have fun in Iowa. It was a uh, overall really good day. And I'm really happy and I'm really excited to get on the road. I'm gonna make this my bed for the weekend. So I got a lot to do. And then six hours of driving. It's definitely too big, as I suspected. That's okay. Hold her up and get her all set up. Now it's just time for pillows and blankets. We are officially ready to get on the road. Tessa does not like that I'm leaving, but you will see my brother Leto. He's gonna come hang out with you. I gotta go to the gas station and then when I get to Iowa, I need to go to like Walmart and get a portable charger Contact solution and makeup wipes. Do not forget See y'all on the road We're Two two and a half hours in I'm a weirdo. I watch TV while I drive. It's terrible I know but I just you know, it's just right there. I'm just watching Game of Thrones. That show is so violent so vulgar Ugh. But anyway, I'm driving west. There's nothing in this world I like more than driving west while the sun's setting. I mean, come on, you know? In a couple hours, this shit's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna get it on video. One of the members from the club, from where I work, he texts me, he's like, are you good? Are you, are you driving okay? That's so sweet. I should probably call my dad. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do that. We listen to some Zach Bryan. <laughs> Some things, and I have another hour and a half of 
the drive. So. I made it. I'm in Des Moines. Des Moines. I mean, it's pretty out here. I found a nice parking lot to sleep in at Conference Technologies Incorporated. No signs that say I can't park here. And it's literally right next to a Holiday Inn. I just really didn't want to park in a parking lot that had like a bunch of bright lights. So I was like, I need somewhere darker. And this is really secluded. I mean, at first I was like kind of sketch, but it's, it is what it is. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep. So I see someone walking. I'm just trying not to be so sketched out. I'm just, I'm literally in Iowa. I hear music. Everything's freaking me out right now. We survived. Seven in the morning. Um, I slept pretty well. So really fucking tired. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like run into the hotel and go in the bathroom or something. I don't know. I need a little bit more sleep. I'm so tired. I'm gonna be waiting out all day. So I'm gonna get my rest. Okay. I'm eating my breakfast sandwich that I made and I'm gonna take a shot of Fireball. Javier is on the way, my Uber. I'm feeling very nervous. I'm feeling so nervous right now and I don't know why. Make sure I get my cash, my ID card. Oh, I'm so nervous. Just like in the pit of my stomach. I'm probably just because an exciting day. It's all gonna work out. I need to get it together. Well, this sandwich is not going down. I didn't sleep in this hotel. I slept in my car. I think we know that. It's so much cheaper, you know? Okay, I need to take the shot. I'm just... Uh, I need to my water bottle, my purse. I got shooters in my boots. That's all I need. Fucking fireball and orange juice. This is a real woman's breakfast. This is a girl breakfast. <laughs> I need to take a picture of that. Okay. To Zach Bryan. Never tasted anything more disgusting. I'm Ava. Ava. We're not moving from this spot. Izzy just got us hot dogs. <laughs> yup, and hamburgers. And we're waiting out. And uh, let's go. You take care of yourselves, you take care of each other. Is it cinnamon?
Such a fine line. 
I'm good for anything It's all of this suffering To use me for parts So drop me and cut me This even fuck me And disappear Finally made it back to my car safely. God bless. This is a story. This is a story I should maybe just tell in the morning, but I think that it's so fucking insane. So I was in St. Charles, Iowa, which is 30 minutes south of Des Moines. Des Moines is a city. It's like a big, it's like the main city where everything's at. My stupid ass thought I could get an Uber in the middle of buttfuck nowhere after a fucking music festival. I was waiting for so long for an Uber that was never gonna come. <laughs> and there were a lot of people that were driving into this gas station that was closed I was sitting at. Uh, they either asked me like if I needed a ride and I was like, yeah, but it's about 30 minutes from here. And everyone's like, yeah, I'm sorry. So I get it, it's not a big deal. Um, I tried calling the police. They said no. <laughs> I called the taxi service. They said no. This Finally, guy comes into the 
to the gas station and he gets out and he looks like he's trying to get gas but it was closed and so I just I said a prayer and I walked up to him and I was like listen what are the odds that you're going to Des Moines um, because I'm stranded and I really need a ride and he was like actually I'm going to Des Moines I just have no gas um, so we need to go to a gas station we tried three different gas stations and we finally were able to get gas on the third time but we were we were driving a on a thunderstorm because literally 10 minutes after we left it started thunderstorming and i was like finn this guy finn, i don't even want to think about what i would have done if you didn't show up i don't know i really have no idea because then i think about okay i could have like slept there until it started fucking raining i was like ready to just sleep outside in the middle of buttfuck Iowa. And wait until the morning to try and get an Uber. And then I was like, well, if I think about it in the morning, I'm still in the middle of nowhere. They're not going to come out this way to come pick me up. So, I'm just so, I blessed. so blessed. to just. And I wasn't freaking out. I think that the big, the key thing was that I was just sitting there really racking my brain trying to figure out what to do. But I was not freaking I was out. Just like you know what, I'm gonna make it back home. Like I'm gonna figure it out. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but it's I'm gonna make it, and I did. And so, the saint of the night, Finn, you are a fucking angel. Yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna drive home tomorrow. That was the most incredible fucking show I of my life. You know, so Ugh, I love Zach Bryan. morning world it's the day after the my concert my truck is shaping up to be one hell of a ride I woke up and I have no I gas I knew I should have got some last night when I got back I thought maybe that I would be okay and now I have no gas so I am figuring it out like I always do I'm Ubering to an auto zone glitter on my to face. go get a gas can and go to the gas station and bring gas back because also AAA is closed in Iowa. Just figuring it out, you know. Just correct me it is. Because I'm a dumbass. I did not <laughs> think I would run out of gas. I thought I would get an Uber last night. You know, I, I think a lot of things. Happen, so. It's okay, I'm gonna make it. It's all gonna work out. Delia did it. Delia made it. She survived. Zach Ryan was incredible. An amazing time seeing trip him. To Iowa, so thank you guys for coming you along with me, keeping me safe. Finn, you saved this. my ass. I would have been sleeping in a bush at a Casey's gas station in a thunderstorm. That's where Iowa. I would have been.